welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to open a PDF file on a device running NuGet, but they're facing an unexpected error. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue you're facing when trying to open a PDF file on NuGet. The error message indicates that there might be a problem with the URI you're using. In your code, you're replacing spaces in the file path with sent 20. This is correct, but we need to ensure that the URI is properly formatted for the file provider. Next, when using file provider, ensure that the file exists at the specified path. If it does, we can create a URI using file provider to grant access to the PDF file. Make sure your Android manifest.xml includes the file provider configuration. This is crucial for sharing files between your app and other apps securely. Finally, ensure that your file paths.xml is correctly set up to point to the directory where your PDF files are stored. This will help the file provider locate the files. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To open a PDF on Android Nougat or higher, we need to use an intent with specific flags. First, create a file object for your PDF. If you're on Nougat or above, use File Provider to get the URI for the file. Don't forget to add flags for read permissions and to avoid history. For older versions, you can use URI.FromFile. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To open a PDF on NuGet, you can use the Adobe PDF Reader. If it's not installed, the app will redirect you to Google Play to download it. Here's how the code works. It creates an intent to view the PDF file. If no application is found, it prompts the user to download Adobe Reader. The code includes an alert dialog that asks the user if they want to download the app from the Play Store. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.